Hi, I'm Marilyn Demartini with Yacht World, and I'm here in Tampa, Florida, aboard the first electric pontoon boat made possible by Alex Monjon and his company, Vision Marine Technologies. Tell us about this electric engine you developed and how this happened and why you chose StarCraft. Thank you for having me today, Mary. Vision Marine Technologies is building electric boats since 1995 and we got public last year, November 2020, uh, on the NASDAQ, symbol VMAR, and that pushed us uh, on the different spectrum of the uh, boating industry by providing our powerful electric outboard called the Emotion 180. It's a full, complete system that can push any boat that requires a horsepower, about 180 horsepower, uh, with a battery pack, an inboard charger, a screen, and also um, all the communication data that comes with it. So it's a complete plug and play system. And this boat has one battery, correct? Which enables it to go about how fast? That boat was pushed up to 36 miles per hour with that 63 kilowatt battery pack. Uh, that's what we are offering now with our system. The uh, efficiency is about 95% uh, on the motor. Uh, maintenance is reduced by 90% compared to the other ice engine outboards. Um, battery density will increase by 90%, 80%, sorry, by the next Q2 2022. So the same size of battery will give you about 80% more range uh, as we speak. And where have you sourced your battery? That one is a Chrysler battery. Um, Australian company, uh, working with them since three years now. Um, those batteries are marine certified, the NGVL, they can be fly. So these are very safe batteries. Our, actually, our boats are meeting, our systems are meeting the uh, re marine requirement safety as IP67 and IP69. So those systems are very safe. And why did you choose the StarCraft as the pontoon boat? Port pontoon market is a very huge mar uh, segment of the market in North America. It's over 60,000 pontoons are rigged per year. Uh, families uh, love those boats and actually you want to go tubing. Uh, you can speak with the people in the back of the boat. You can actually uh, have a good time. They don't have smoke, fume, the noise. So as we speak, the, the engine is running. We can actually have a, a normal conversation. Even at 20 miles per hour, we don't hear anything. And the fact that there's less maintenance, uh, moms and uh, kids are happy not having the dad working on the engine. And the um, usage, you're looking about $4 of electricity instead of about $100 of fuel on a single day. And you can get those bolts, those systems recharge any dock worldwide using a regular shore power 110 or 220. And how long does it take to recharge the battery? On a regular shore power like we have here, it's take about six to seven hours. Uh, if you're home and you have a regular 15 amps, it will take about 10 hours. So overnight, you'll be good to go the next morning. Excellent. And you've also manufactured other boats yourselves, not just powering this boat. Tell us about that as well. This is how everything started. So we do manufacture four different boats, the Quietude, the Vault, the Fantel, and the Bruce. The Bruce was named after Ian Bruce, Olympic sailor and famous boat designer who designed this, the laser sailboat. We sold more than 140,000 sailboat worldwide. Uh, so this is how everything started. We were actually building and selling those boats. We had partners uh, selling us uh, some different uh, motorization, but we couldn't achieve the type of speed uh, that we wanted to. So we started working on that project uh, many years ago with inboard electric motors. And along the way, we, we discovered that it was making more sense for the marine industry to actually get into outboard, powerful electric outboard. And the demand is there. Last year, the reports from the NMMA showed us that over 329,000 outboards were sold in North America. And by 2025, it will be over 1.2 million outboards sold in the US. So we want to at least get 1% of that market share. And the engine at 180 horsepower, where does that rank with other competitors in the market right now? Uh, we can compete with any Suzuki, Yamaha, Mercury offering 175 horsepower. Uh, the weight of our complete system compared to a complete ICE engine system from Mercury, Yamaha, Honda, we're about 100 pounds heavier than their complete system with the fuel tank full. And the, the, is that because of the battery weight? Yes, as we speak. And I could say by 2025, we'll be able to offer more range than that fuel tank that was installed in that boat because the battery density is increasing and the technology is changing, I could say, every quarter.
And can you comment on the price of the engines? The engine is about $7,000 more than the ice engine outboards. Where it, the price, the big gap is between the fuel tank that you have to purchase and the two batteries you need to, to rig that motors compared to our batteries. You're looking about uh, $40,000 more. So at the end of the day, it will take you about 200 hours of use to get your money between the difference of the ice engine outboards and the electric outboards. Price will be decreased uh, year by year by having uh, much more um, batteries made by um, cars uh, manufacturers. So right now the battery that you're using is manufactured in Austria and it's used, what is its other uses? The automotive industry, the automotive. train industry, and we also have other suppliers who are selling us the batteries. On this one, we use the Chrysler because the size was fitting actually perfectly under the seats. Uh, we have different size of battery pack, uh, depending if it's a center console, a bow rider, or a uh, overnight, a little cruiser. So we have multiple options for OEMs. We only do sales to OEM. Curious about the fact that this has one battery in this boat. The, which is 20, 22 feet, feet, yes. And your other boat is 22 feet, but it's got two battery packs in it. Tell us about the speeds on that boat. That boat was actually Patrick, our uh, COO, pushed that boat over at 49, per, 49 miles per hour three weeks ago at the shootout at the Ozark in Missouri. Uh, so we're now holding the uh, world fastest electric boat production at the shootout. And we'll be back next summer with an Hellcat 32 uh, footer. Uh, wide body boat. Uh, we're trying to push that boat over 100 miles per hour for the, the season 2022 at the shootout. The well, Lake of the Ozarks is definitely where the speed gets, uh, gets to be showcased. So you were in the right place at the right time. Well, we'll look forward to hearing more about these boats and about your engines. They're all being made in Montreal at this time. Correct. As we speak, yes, it is. And we, we're looking to actually expand our production worldwide. So let's take this baby for a ride and see how it feels. Let's enjoy it. Great short cruise, very smooth, what we did about 25, 26 miles per hour, seamlessly and silently. Exactly. And that's in credit partly to the Starcraft as well, isn't it? Yeah, the Smoker family were very kind with us. Uh, it was an easy installation and they have a wonderful product. So Starcraft has uh, pushed that boat uh, over 36 miles per hour with two passengers in it. And uh, we're proud of having that product in our line now. Well, it's great to see the water from the electric side. So thanks for joining us here on Yacht World. We'll show you more soon.